Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Amanda Denver. She's with the University of Kentucky Extension Water Quality Specialist there. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning, Joanna. Well, today I'm excited because you're going to talk about one good idea and who doesn't like a good idea? Explain a little bit about what that concept is. Oh, sure. Absolutely. So One Good Idea is a, a new um, virtual platform that we're promoting. And I say we, meaning some of my partners with other land grant universities in the Mississippi River Basin. So that means the Mid-South and the Midwest. And um, so what this is, is it is a platform of resources for farmers. And um, it kind of goes back, I'll tell you a bit about the backstory. And we had a field day several years ago and we were talking to one of our farmers and, you know, and we go to field days and there's like so much information sometimes and we're trying to take it all in and put some practice to use or make something, you know, better for our, our operation. And his comment to us was, you know, if I just leave a meeting or a field day with just one good idea, to implement on the farm, that has made it worth my time and the investment of my time and resources and being away from the farm. And so uh, we kind of ran with that idea. And so one good idea um, is a platform of resources like videos um, and podcasts that are made by farmers for farmers focused on conservation practices. So we're really trying to hone in on conservation practices, stewardship practices, but also ones that make good economic sense, because we know we have to have all those things on the farm. Absolutely. And it's readily available. So if that farmer has some time, they can pull that up at any time and kind of watch those at their leisure. That's right. And it's a, a website um, based platform. Um, and like I said, there are videos, they're short videos. So these aren't like a long term time commitment. And these really have been curated. So we have a team of advisors who look at the content, and make sure that we feel like it's relevant and research based and evidence based. And that can be, it doesn't have to be research from a university, um, just on farm research and experience also is important. Um, and, you know, farmers can look for information about cover crops um, and, you know, even all the intricacies around cover crops, like picking out the right species, um, how they plant, are they planting green? What kind of equipment do they need to do that? Um, even there's some livestock uh, specific practices as well, you know, things that have worked with rotational grazing and maybe some ways to tweak rotational grazing and how you're moving cattle around. So um, lots of different resources that are available there on the website. Um, and a lot of times farmers like to hear from other farmers. And so they like to know what's worked on their particular farm. Um, and, and it just makes it a little bit more credible for them. Yeah, absolutely. We know that this peer-to-peer -peer learning is super important. Um, sometimes conservation practices are a bit of a tough sell if farmers don't see an immediate economic benefit because it maybe feels a little cumbersome or something different, um, different than what they've historically done. Um, so hearing from other farmers and how they've um, implemented those is really important. Um, so the other thing I wanted to mention is a lot of these videos are farmer made. So our farmers, if you're watching these and you say, hey, I've got something to share. I'm, I've got a good idea too. Um, you know, flip your phone around and, you know, record a video of yourself standing in the field, riding the tractor, sharing your good idea. Um, about how you've made things work for you on the farm and made things better. So we're really also looking for content. We have a few Kentucky farmers that are represented on the platform, but um, you know I'm kind of biased about that. So I, I want more Kentucky farmers uh, represented and so that we can share our Kentucky ideas with the rest of the Midwest as well. Absolutely. And if you're thinking, you're watching at home, you're thinking, I don't know how to take a video, contact your local extension office. Extension agents would be happy to come out and help you record this video to share your great idea on this platform. So Amanda, how do they go? Where do they go to find this information in these videos? Goodideafarm.org. And um, so you can watch those videos, listen to podcasts. Absolutely. Well, Amanda, certainly appreciate the information. And if you have questions or would like help getting video of your good idea, make sure to contact your local extension office. Thanks for watching and have a great day.